Shalom and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. We'll start out by giving all honor, praises, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakat, Kadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. I wanted to real quick hop into the etymology of this word hegemony. Hegemony. All right. Which goes into Esau, Edom's power structure across the earth that we know is a global regime all right let's get it in the definition first leadership or dominance especially by one country or social group over others all right and in this case it's esau edom let's get that first for visual the precept job 9 and 24 it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay. And this is in reference to the wicked, which is the subject in this scripture. Okay. Who the earth is given in the hand of and who's covering the faces of the judges. Okay. If you can discern who this person is and it, there is some discernment that's required because in the scriptures it's known this man is referred to as the mystery of iniquity okay and the scriptures are written in code they're written in parables which are otherwise known as riddles man okay it's things that are written in a certain way to stumble you, to, to, to stumble and trip you up, okay? Or to, to, um, to blur the understanding of it so that you don't fucking get it. The masses of people, actually, okay? But that wicked, the wicked, is Esau, even the so-called white man. That whole line, okay? man, woman, and child, going back to the progenitor Esau, all right? And we know throughout the scriptures, it ties the wicked to Esau, Edom, um, incessantly, all right? And through that hegemony, that dominance, we're going to get one of the main characteristics of his hegemony, all right? one of the main aspects and components of his hegemony. Okay. Hegemony going into an, uh, a noun from auto- online etymology. Slakia. Online etymology dictionary. All right. A.K.A. the etym online dot com. All right. It says from the 1560s Preponderance. Okay. Preponderance. Let's get that. We see the word pre, which when you go into his predominance, let's get that first. Because to be dominant, but is one thing, but to be predominant goes into what? Pre- to present to present as the strongest or main element. Okay, and then having or exerting control or power. So that means to be actively dominant, all right? And then proceeding, also you could see when something's pre or before or preceding, going before, that means they're before you. That means they're former. So they're first, right? Principal, chief, we saw that. It goes into uh, succession as well. Okay, let's get this preponderance real quick. Preponderant means to be predominant in influence. Wow, number or importance. All right, so a lot of his power structure, all right, and this is explained in the scriptures, is likened to um, an influence to the other nations. 
which is exactly what that cup is, that cup of abominations, the wine that has made uh, the the whole world drunk with the, these wicked, filthy, demonic philosophies that are contrary to the Most High, all right, which the word Satan means, to be adversarial, con um, contrary, uh, to be contrary, all right? So his dominance goes a lot into the influence of that dominance, right? As we can see through that the cancer of his philosophies spreading throughout the earth. Okay. Dominance and leadership. All right. It says uh, originally a predominance of one city state or another in Greek history. From Greek hegemonia, leadership a leading the way, the way, a going first. Also, the authority or sovereignty of one city state over a number of others. Okay, just jump down. Hegemon. From hegemon, leader and authority, commander or sovereign. Okay, from hegestai, to lead, perhaps originally, to track down. Okay, it says to seek out, to track down, and to trace, okay, and when you go into it, not only has influence one of the main proponents of his, of his uh, dominance, all right, of his maintaining that hegemony across the planet, all right, but, um, not only through that influence, but through tracing and tracking. That's one of Esau Edom's characteristic ways that uh, he runs his, his power structure, okay? To keep tabs on every fucking body. That's one way that you quail and you keep them sequestered and you keep them uh, in control. You keep them fucking in line, all right? To not have people outside of his jurisdiction so that they have an ability to uprise against him. Okay? A textbook way that you maintain your dominance. Okay? Maintain your, your, the, the, your power and ensure, um, basically, you, insurance of you staying in, in, that, in that power seat. Okay? So to track and trace down. Look, he has uh, all different forms of uh, different programs and campaigns to track and trace down the people across the planet. Okay, you have something called a census where he does his, uh, he does all his due diligence. Okay, he uses all his resources at his disposal. And we know through technology that's... Um, it's becoming impossible to evade this man, right? So he uses all his the resources at his disposal. He does his due diligence to get a tab and and a, a perform a census on all the people in his jurisdiction. Okay, and we know his jurisdiction, as he says, is global. Okay. And really, when you go into it, from the far reaches of Amer not just America, all the garrisons and um, military installations that America has across the planet, but also going into America's allies. You can't forget that, okay? And not to mention, really, the global elites when you get into it. The ones who are really in fucking power, who it doesn't matter. It's this is irregardless of what country you co fucking come from. Talking about, uh, you know, some pea brain fucking copper tops thinking that it's really about, uh, you know, these different nations, these different Edomite nations are separate from each other when you got global elites who are really are pulling the strings. Of all the world leaders. Okay. Right into the direction. That they. 
uh, will it to go. But we know that even the mind, their minds are even in the hands of the Most High. Okay. But through that, uh, ma uh, maintaining of dominance has been through tracking and tracing. All right. Quailing and uh, curtailing to sequestering the people. All right. That's why he doesn't need a motherfucker to come to your door with a clipboard to see how many people are staying at the pad. All right. He's got he's got his techno uh, technological resources. Everything uh, up, up the fucking uh, the creek to find you and to to, to uh, trace and track you. All right. From these fucking uh, cell phones to your uh, anything, any of these smart devices. Right, which every nigga, um, you know, every American now has to have a fucking eye watch, right? That, uh, uh, <laughs> one of his easiest ways to trace and track the people. And not to mention all the other smart devices in the, um, workplace and at the, um, in these different establishments, okay? Because they've been for, for decades changing the grid over into this fully technological uh, um, infrastructure, right? To make it virtually impossible to evade. But this is what this man has created. This is how he's maintained his, his uh, hegemony, man. Let's get this in Psalm 10 and 8. It says, he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. Okay, We're going into the wicked. Esau, Edom. All right. To provide even a little bit more confirmation in the scriptures, what it talks about. The wicked spreading it, it's himself like a bay tree, a uh, green bay tree. When you go into the green bay tree historically, the only people that have used that, um, and they used it uh, as a crown. They built, they they um, they crafted a crown out of the green bay tree. All right. Uh, the only ones who have historically used that is the Greeks, okay, the Edomites, and the Greeks was the first um, Edomite empire on this planet, okay, that was the, the, the known power, empire of the earth, the Greek empire, right, that was the first Edomite empire to emerge on the scene, and boy, was it fucking wicked, scriptures talk about how um, wickedness and uh, evil multiplied, when this man came into power, all right, and that's why the Most High uh, set him up. He says, um, "Promotion cometh neither from the east nor west, but uh, um, it cometh from the Most High." He set it up one, um, take down one, send it up another. All right. It also speaks about in Ecclesiastes how time and chance is given to every man, and the race is not given to the swift basically how the Most High has given every nation their chance to rule. And the Most High, according to Pro uh, Proverbs 16 and 4, has raised this man Esau Edom up and put him in the power seat so that he could be the hammer of the whole earth. And boy, what a job he's fucking done. All right. Raped, robbed, and murdered himself to, uh, to power like Malcolm says, right, and fucking destroyed the earth in in the uh, process. Okay, he's he was set up as it says in Revelations to take peace from the earth. Okay, so um, with the Greeks going back into uh, the Green Bay tree, they used it as a crown for their heroes crowns for their heroes, all right, to show you 
who the wicked is. That it actually goes back to a line. All right. And then, it, of course, it ties the wicked into Mount Seir. So it says, uh, he sits in the lurking places of the villages. That's likened into him um, keeping surveillance. Okay, this is what this is. These uh, different tracing and tracking devices that he has. Um, it's a form of surveillance. Okay, so he can see what you're doing, see where you're at. Okay. So he can fucking control you. To make sure you don't uh, form a fucking uprising up against him. to That you're not going to slander and... Uh, Pretty much um, speak ill or negative about him in any fucking way or about the, his system that he set up. Okay. Why do you think they're even more so um, they're bogging down and cracking down on, on this uh, speech? Okay. All manner of different speech that they're deeming to be offensive that they're deeming to be um, misinformation across all different sectors and industries, okay? They're fucking, uh, they're putting a halt to that. And that goes into his tracking and tracing, his hegemony, his ma maintaining a dominance. Is, uh, that is imperative and centrifugal to you maintaining your dominance, Okay? Keeping tabs on your fucking subjects. Alright? And keeping a tight squeeze on them. And that's the heavy shit that we're coming into in this time. This fucking dragon. This uh, old serpent. Okay? He's about to come down with ultimate fucking wrath, man. Okay? And in that, in going into these draconian me measures... Are, is even more stringent, uh, tight, because uh, that's what draconian goes into, right? Uh, those fucking restrictive and constrictive, like the uh, boa constrictor, the fucking snake that he is, um, restrictive uh, measures on the people, okay? To where um, you're going to be fucking right under his thumb under Esau Edom's thumb in this new uh, era, this new system that he's in preparation of setting up as we speak, man alright so this is him sitting in the lurking places of the villages alright in the secret places doth he murder the innocent that's going into the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, so-called, really the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, okay, regardless of their uh, skin color, because it goes into the many Israelites that are scattered across this planet, man, all right, that are the most disenfranchised downtrodden, oppressed people on the face of the earth. All right? Those are his main victims. That's what that goes into. All right? Does he murder the innocent? The innocent going into Israel? 12 tribes of Israel? The descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? All right? That, those are his main culprits. Or, or Salakia, those are the main victims of his... Uh, Oppressive society. Okay. His eyes are privily set against the poor. All right. That's going into his uh, eyes. He's like his surveillance. All right. Big brother. All his methods of tracking and tracing. Okay. And that's the main ones he wants to keep fucking down. Because those are the ones that he conquered. It's like it to anybody when you can't come and conquer with people. It's your main objective to make sure they don't fucking rise up and destroy you. Okay? So he wants to... He, he has to make sure he... Sh he fucking keeps Jake 
all the way the fuck down, man. Okay. And the main way you do that is through is through uh, tracking and tracing. What do you think all this goddamn social media apps, all this shit? They tell you right there in the terms and conditions that in order to use this shit, we're going to keep tabs on you, man. We're going to give, and no, don't matter what kind of VPN, which is a, um, I think it's, it's called the virtual private network where it masks your IP. Don't matter what kind of shit you do to try to hide yourself. He, he knows exactly how to, how to, uh, to um to dial down on you man to drill down on you okay so you thought you turned the location services off he still has all kind of uh of ways to still access that information okay just you think because just because you turned it off it's not um it's not a recording your locations Okay, and all those apps they have that feature on that. Okay, built in. It says he lieth in wait, secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. Okay, and that's what this. Besides it being for its main objective and most uh, pure objective, which is for the gathering of the elect on the Agora, this this uh, web, this internet, right? But ultimately, this whole uh, technology and fucking uh, the internet, okay? It's a it's a fucking it's a web. It's exactly what that is. A web is another name or is another uh, type or form of a net. Okay? Because it catches you. You see? And that's one of the main ways that he nabs up on fucking Jake. Nowadays, it's through that, through, through, the, uh, through the internet. Okay? Social media. Okay? He sets traps on that shit. Mad fucking traps on that shit. Okay. But through that tracking and tracing, man. What better way to keep a tight fucking uh, grasp on the people? All right, this is in Lamentations 4 and 18. And this happened in time of past during the Babylonian captivity. All right. The the uh, Chaldeans. But Esau, Edom is... Are um, they are the modern day Chaldeans, man? Okay. The secret council of the workers of iniquity. All right, they've taken on that identity through that. That uh. That the secret council, um, what they say, another term is the cl- clandestine group, behind the scenes, shadow government, right? That is in control of the entire fucking planet, man. That's the Chaldeans. All right. And they move and they maneuver the same fucking way. As the Chaldeans did. Esau Edom does. All right. It says they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. All right. And that was in the time of the capturing of our people and destruction of our people during the time of the Babylonian captivity, all right? Otherwise known as the Chaldeans. When they came in and and, uh, put us into captivity, what was it their purposes to, to keep, just as aforementioned, of what a nation does to keep another nation that they just conquered into subjection. You keep them quelled and per- and curtailed. All right. Otherwise uh, known as 
subdued, okay? Because to quell goes into, like, quelling and uprising. All right, stamp that shit out. It says to put an end to as a, in a rebellion or other disorder, typically by the use of force, all right? To suppress or subdue, okay? As well as to limit uh, the movements and, uh, and abilities and liberties of that people, okay? Just as it said. They hunt our steps that we cannot go into our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. And Esau has run that play back. Just as he is an amalgamation, this current regime is an amalgamation and a, a combination of all the former empires of old. Okay? It has components of each one of those. All right? And as well as Esau's um, current philosophies, a lot of Esau's current philosophies are um, heavily influenced by ancient Babylonian uh, culture, all right? Ancient Babylonian, ancient Egyptian uh, philosophy, okay? And even Neo-Babylonian going into the Chaldeans, right? Nebuchadnezzar's Babylon. It's riddled. This motherfucker, his um, his doctrines and philosophies are riddled with that shit. Okay. It also talks about how um, when a new empire comes into into power, it pretty much absorbs the power of the former kingdom, the former empire, and such is the case for America, man. Uh, it's Lakia, um, NATO and the EU, of course, uh, headed by America, okay, which when you go into it, according to the Wolfowitz Doctrine, America is established um, as the world, uh, the only world superpower so following this, the the fall of the Soviet Union, okay? So they have... And when has that changed, right? Okay? So this is this is a fucking elite's baby. All right? And finishing off in back at two and five. All right? Because this is Esau Edom's form of uh, opposing and... Um, exalting himself above all that is called the Most High. All right? This is him presenting himself as the Most High because this is uh, really the, the ability of, of, a, of the Creator, okay, of a God, to be able to, to trace and track down and to keep tabs on, on all the inhabitants of this place, man, of the earth, really. Is what his uh, goal is. And what is his ultimate goal to do that? Is through this uh, RFID implantation. Okay? S uh, subdermal device. Okay? Implantable uh, hardware. That grain of rice. That's his ultimate form of tracking and tracing. Okay? And form of heaping all people to himself, man. He's gonna, he's gonna do this in one grand uh, and um, and in grand fashion. Is he going to fulfill his uh, agendas of tracing and tracking the people? All right. Back at two and five, yea, also because he transgresseth, transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied 
but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Okay? And if this is not the wicked, if this is not the culprit, the villain, the adversary, the uh, the antagonist in the story, in the scriptures, then I don't know who it is. Just as it said in Job 9 and 24, where and who the fuck is he? All right? Who's the fucking bad guy? You see? So it is indeed Esau Edom. All right? And just as we spoke on these his draconian measures that he's preparing to unleash in that the ultimate restrictive society is his uh, agendas for the MOTB, okay, to uh, mandatorily implant the entire Earth's population with an implantable device, man, okay? What better way to track and trace and to maintain his hegemony, okay? Which um, is one of the primary components and aspects of maintaining your dom dominance, man. Okay? Which he's going to do for a short time before the Most High just blows it up in his fucking face. Alright? Bursts his fucking bubble on this devil, man. Alright? But uh, it's heavy. Going into the etymology uh, of, of, of his hegemony. Okay? To track, to trace down. Uh, to track down, to trace, and to seek out. All right? So we know through the Rakah Kadash, all right, the re revelation of these scriptures, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, that we've been unlocked to this truth. So the revealings of not only uh, the master plan of Yahweh Bashim Shai, but into... It's like an infiltration into the plans and the agendas and the mind of our enemies, man. Okay? So with that, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakah Kadash, call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakah Kadash, Shalom.